Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this one I'll be taking a look at a quick charger that I have here and it's from a company called Aki but the thing with this one is that it's broken. It, somehow I stepped on it and it got all messed up so I'm not sure how safe it is to use this guy so I'm basically gonna throw this away but before I recycle it I figure why not try to take a look inside of it. I've never seen a video where someone actually sees what a quick charger looks like on the inside and what's a little bit tricky with this guy is that it ha doesn't have any points where you can actually open it. it doesn't have any screws or anything which makes it easy to open so you're basically gonna have to destroy the plastic around it to get to the inside and well there's a few ways you can do that and the most obvious would maybe be to take a hammer and just gently just get the plastic off it but I'm gonna take you to the bit of an extreme here I have two BB guns here that I'm gonna use to just to make this a little bit more fun for all you guys to basically shoot the thing up and just see if we be, will be able to take this little charger apart and if not well I guess if the BB guns and the bullets are not strong enough we're gonna have to use a hammer but let's try to do it with the guns first and let's get right into that Alright guys, so there we go, as you saw, we were actually able to get this open as I was hoping for, instead of using a hammer, that was a lot more fun way. So if we take a look here around it first before we open it, you can see that the plastic here is pretty much all cracked, so what we can do here is just slide it out of its casing, and if we turn it here, we see all the goodies that makes this charger being able to give juice to your device. So just take a look at this little casing here first, that was just plain plastic, that was all not too exciting, but what's exciting is this main board, so right away we can see all the transistors that's supposed to generate the electric up to the certain watt amount that the charger is supposed to deliver, and I believe it's somewhere between 15 to 17 watts that the Qualcomm quick charge rates at, and you can see we have the USB port here where we sadly managed to mess up a little bit, but it's at least pretty cool to see how it all looks and what really caught my attention is that it looks like they just took some really thick glue or what you want to call it to keep these components in place and you can see here we have the little wire going down to the actual plug where you plug it in the power outlet and that's basically it I just wanted to see how it all looks like and on the back we have a few chips and that regulates the wattage and all that but that's basically it for this little board I thought it was cool to take a look at how a charger actually looks inside or at least the Qualcomm quick charge this is a pretty bulky charge compared to a lot of others that doesn't support it because it has to deliver so much power 
But without further ado, I'm gonna sum the video up here. I hope you guys all liked it. And as always, I upload videos at least once every week. And stay tuned for more, and I'll sign out here, and you all have a good day.